Oh, sounds like detective show music. McGraw, take you out and get down to the Bijou. Some sicko just shot up a muscle of nuts taking in the sound of music. And quick, get a sponge. Somebody spilled on the opening titles. What about prejudice? Was it right to exclude it from the subjects we made earlier short films about? Prejudice against an individual is often preju- Hey, uh, against a minority- Slow down! He will not be seen or identified. But between you and me, he's from that really smelly country. You know the one. Because he's the sort you'd associate with, isn't he? This is the story of Bruce Jones who walked in a shadow of hate and suspicion. Also a literal a shadow, shadow. of what he was because of his background, over which he had no control. This is also the story of the people who knew Bruce, or thought they did. There were many of these people, and they were different from each other in many ways. <laughs> Apparently Bruce wanted nothing to do with them. I don't know why they let people like him go to our school anyway. And I'm not the only one. My folks don't like it a bit. Boy, you're truly my awful. My dad made a plane. I wasn't to associate with him. How are you going to keep from doing it? Sitting in the same classrooms association, isn't it? That's what I say. I'll never get I'll a line of credit now. Avoid it. I wonder why the school hasn't kicked him out. I bet he makes terrible grades. Uh, don't get your hopes up on that score. Bruce is a dumbbell. Clue number There's one. Bruce is not Bruce. white. As long as he makes his grades, Bruce will be with us. What I can't understand is why he'd want to be with us. Yeah, they're Who busting down the door to be your friend, Toots. To sweat and get a job. Nah, who'd hire a guy like him? Besides, what can Bruce do? Well, we may as well face it. He's here and we're here and all we can do is stay away from him as much as possible. Even at the Xavier Institute, Bruce was an outcast. The outcast. who knew Bruce agreed that it would be better to shut the door to any efforts he might make to be one of them. That singly or as a group, they should avoid him. They're uh, serving fish sticks today. But it wasn't always possible to avoid Bruce. Come on, gang! Henry. They always run out of tartar sauce. What happened? Ed Reeves and Bruce Jones are fighting. But Bruce would make two of Ed. What? Who would Ed want to tackle him for? Well, he didn't. Fred was over there. He saw it all. Ed? Fred? Bruce Who's next? Ned? The corner and Ed walked by and, and Bruce charged at him like a bull. It was my fault. I had a red cape oh, on. Oh, gosh. And then he just went away and left him lying there. Not Didn't even stop to see if he was hurt or anything. There he is. How you feel, Ed? Oh, give me a break. I'm pretty beat up, I must say. Uh, I'm all right. You sure? Yeah. The Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew are on the case. What can you expect with Bruce's background? Golly, this will get him a spell for sure. Don't you think so, Tom? I can't see why Bruce would do a thing like that without some good reason. And nothing screams prejudice like trying to find a logical reason for the bad behavior in those you unfairly hate. The apparent case against Bruce Jones was a strong one. He was different from his classmates, so no matter what happened, Bruce was suspected of the worst. Someone erased the hate speech I wrote on my desk! Well, Bruce! What'd you say you lost? Oh, my green sweater. I left it in here first hour. Right over the back of this chair. Bruce is well known as a green sweater aficionado. Well, it's not here now. I guess I might as well check lost and found. A coat sweater? Yeah. Brand new? Yeah, did you say it? Yeah, I saw it. But I didn't know it was yours. I saw it over the arm of Bruce Jones as he walked out the door. Well, that dirty crook. We can't get away with that. Hey, come to think about it. I'll bet that's what happened to my good pen I thought I lost. Oh, well, they'll expel him now for sure. A stolen pen in hey, school. Well, I never. Yeah. What happened is Circumstances pointed to Bruce Jones. This is how it always seemed to work out. Bruce was in trouble. Uh, let's get our lynching ropes. Even on the night of the class party, Bruce was to become the topic of conversation. Hey, where's Bruce? It's not a party without him. Please sleep with me, Bruce. Three cheers for old Brucey. Hip, hip, hip hooray! What's got four even sides and no rhythm? This party. Oh, well, the first Starbucks was opened at a prom. I don't know about you, but I think this is the best party we've ever had. No, and not just because of the balloons. <laughs> Maybe it's because there hasn't been anything tonight to get us out of the mood. And what might that be? You know what I mean. The undesirable element is missing. Ah, Mercury. It's a good thing, too. I'm sure glad Bruce didn't come tonight. He's not like us, and he never will be. He's got three arms. He will not be seen or identified. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Seven minutes in heaven, my foot. See you in hell, last angry geek. A 
Oh, no! Women come running for the great taste of Folgers crystals. Damn it, Susie, it can happen to any guy. Someone just knocked out Biff Tannen. Oh, poor Biff. Sure, he's a little rambunctious, but he does God's work every Sunday volunteering at church. Oh, they got stuck on the flypaper. They were trying to run over Bruce Jones and lost control. They skidded into a bridge and the car caught on fire. Oh, how awful. Were they badly burned? They would have been if it hadn't been for Bruce. He shot them dead to spare their suffering. Bruce Jones? Yes, Bruce Jones. The bridge was the one near his house. Evidently, he heard the crash. He ran out and saw that two people were trapped inside and that the car caught fire back by the gas tank. Helen Hunt in Desperate Lives. Did he know it was Tom and Carol? I don't know if he recognized Tom's car or not. They say that Bruce practically tore the car door off by brute force. They being the people who watched him did nothing. He got Carol out all right. But as he was helping Tom, the gas tank exploded. <laughs> Pintos. Tom wasn't hurt much. But Bruce was burned severely. Ha! Oh. I feel so sorry for Bruce. On the bright side, burning his skin off should clear up his well, acne. This is a switch. A week ago, you were up in the air about having to go to the same school with him. No matter what I said, I feel sorry for anybody being hurt, even Bruce. Well, I'm not going to be a hypocrite and act as if this changes anything. Now listen, Bill. Wow. He's really committed to his bigotry. After all, Bruce was badly hurt. He didn't have to go into that fire. Probably didn't even know who was in it at the time. Should we go visit him in the hospital? Even if he did know, nah. Bruce had little reason to risk his neck. I gotta say, I've been to worse parties. After all the mean, prejudiced things that have been said right to his face, I'm a fine one to talk. Oh, I don't want to brag, but I did win the extemporaneous speaking contest. Do you suppose there's anything we can do to help? They said that he was on a critical list. Maybe he needs blood. Oh, well, uh... Do you think we have to go to the hospital and see? Oh, well, I'm going back to the party. He just broke Leia Thompson's heart. All right, Overlook Hotel, it's almost 1922. They're off to find a party even more square. That root beer was getting me high. Maybe we can find a party with cream soda instead. A hundred bottles of beer, you take what? I wonder if Bruce would want my blood after what I did to him. But you have leukemia. What did to him, but he hit you, didn't he? Yes, but you don't know the whole story. I had it coming. I used to needle him all the time. I'd sing that song so he'd be sure to hear it. You know the one I mean. And now we've got bad well, blood. that day I walked by Bruce whistling it again. I guess it got under his skin and he just couldn't take it anymore. Golly, then he didn't just jump you for no reason. I don't think he knew what he was doing. But I did and I told the principal the whole thing. That's the reason Bruce is only on probation. For that matter, I am too. <gasps> But we thought you were one of us. It's funny. I never stopped to think there could be a Bruce side to it. I just never really thought of Bruce at all. Except in the back seat Whoever of my boyfriend's did. car. <laughs> I was ready to accuse him of stealing my sweater the other day. And I would have, but when I got to the office to report him, well, there it was, where he'd turned it into the lost and found. If anybody else had been seen with it, I wouldn't have worried so much. But because it was Bruce, Because I... it was Bruce, you did what we've all done. He's put a brand on him for something he couldn't help. They burned a WGH onto his ass for Warren G. Harding High School. Meanwhile, at the Nighthawks Diner. Well, let's go see how bad it is. You ever bite all your cheese off your pizza? Bruce is what's left. This trip to the hospital could be the first step for these students at East High toward tearing down the false barriers which their own bias and prejudice have built. But will it work? No. Each of these people must find the answer only through re-examination of his own feelings and attitudes. For this is the problem of the individual more than of the group. Oh, sure, a mob is nothing to fear. If Bruce doesn't make it, how will I ever be able to face myself after all the things I've done to him? Things I'll never be able to apologize for. Although he did knock my nose sideways. Bill was right in a way. This doesn't really change any of the reasons why we didn't accept Bruce into our group. I just hope I can somehow work out a new set of values to judge him by in the future. Maybe you could place value on his looks. This is the fellow my folks didn't want me to have anything to do with. 
I wonder if what Bruce did will make any difference to them now. Will they be able to understand why I have to help him if I can? Will they understand me given all that I audio distortion? I this is the right thing to do. But it is a fast switch. Have I let sympathy in? Aw, somebody's getting sleepy. I won't be able to live up to. Robulence! Am I just reacting to an emergency? What'll it be like when the emergency is over? Bruce won't be any different, but I guess I'll have to be. All those plants, it's like they're on a talk show set. The thing is, it wasn't Bruce at all. I was the one, neatly fitting people into categories because of where they go to church, or what their fathers do, or what the color of their skin is. Oh, Bruce is skinny. He will not be identified! Prejudice, but you never feel guilty until you realize it's you. You're the one who's prejudiced. Yes, you, the viewer. You make me what sick. What was it, after all, that made these people do the things they did? Was it a lack of understanding? Yes. Was their attitude picked up from their prejudiced parents? Yes. Or was it simply a matter of going along with the attitude of the group? No, oh, no, no, no. Groups what are great. What is prejudice? And why does it exist? What do you think? Sign up here for your prejudice vaccine. Not a hell with all this secrecy. Bruce Jones was a pygmy from Papua New Guinea.